Well, the turnover struggles continue. Wasn't a pretty game. Wasn't a bad game by any means. A lot of dumb decisions uh, by Kevin O'Connell there at the end of the ball game. Uh, had three timeouts, right? We had three. Okay, that's what you want for a team, right? And then we get almost a delay a game, so we have to call a timeout. Bam, we waste one. All right, so we have two left. Not too bad. Okay, we should be fine. Then we have to waste another one. Well, not really waste it, but it was wasted because... We threw a challenge flag on a clearly caught ball, okay? Travis Kelsey caught it, was down, all right? Josh Kelsey, yeah, he did rip it away and try to, you know, take it the other direction, but he was ruled down, so we wasted a, a timeout there. So we have one left, okay. Now we're starting to panic a little bit. What's going on? Then, all right, get this, get this. We have to call another timeout. In a very, very dumb situation, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know it was pointless to use that timeout up. I think it was like fourth fourth and one or like third and seven or something like that. We call a timeout with like four four minutes or something, and uh, it, it didn't matter at all because our offense only got a minute left on the field. We virtually did nothing. Okay, a bunch of Hail Marys. It was it was a rough one, but again, like there's a lot to improve on. I like what I've seen out of our players today. Um, the offensive line did a decent enough job. Ed Ingram still... Trash, as usual. Um, need to see Dalton Rise during the game. We couldn't run to the right side, and I think it's a lot, a lot of that has to do with Ed Ingram not being able to run block as well as he, well, he, he can't run block. He can't pass block. He's just a lost cause at this point in time. Um, but we couldn't run to the right side. We always had to bounce back towards the middle, so that's an issue. We have to clean up. We have to figure it out, and I, I got the perfect solution. Dalton Reisner, put him at right guard. We'll be okay. Um, defensively, we did all right. Uh, I think Harrison Smith... Had an unfortunate penalty there, that pass interference, was running full speed, tried to slow down, ends up uh, hitting the guy. But as for the Chiefs, as for the Chiefs, they had a pass interference there at the end, or so we thought. And then Legarius uh, Sneed proceeded to take his helmet off, okay, which automatically is an unsportsmanlike conduct. You th it's, a, it's a 15 or 5-yard penalty, whatever the case may be. That should have been thrown regardless, okay? The ref even told him, put your helmet back on. It doesn't matter. Throw the flag. I uh, have, to, have to be better there for speaking for the refs, I guess you should say. Um, you know, it is what it is. We're 1-4 and four on the season. Long, long way to go. Okay, we got the Chicago Bears next week. It's going to be a tough one. And if we continue to turn the ball over on a rate, like on a, look, I think we have 11 or 12 total turnovers. Eight of which are on or in the first quarter. Those are those are game killers. Look, if we didn't fumble that first drive with Josh Oliver, we'd probably have a tie ball game. We'd probably going to OT, or who knows? Maybe we win the ball game if that turnover doesn't happen. Can't have it. Got to fix those turnovers. Have to be a little bit more harsh on these guys. A lot of drop passes today. Uh, Keenan or not Keenan Ellis? Jesus. Um, what's his name? KJ Osborne had a couple drops. TJ Hawkinson had a couple drops. And maybe that was just because Kirk Cousins was just missing his throws just a little bit. Maybe they were too high, too out of the side, you know, stuff like that. Um, so we have to clean those up. But otherwise, I think it was a decent enough game. Want to see more out of Cam Akers. Um, but yeah, with those, those turnover struggles, they continue to plague us. We're 1 and 4. Could end up being 1 and 5 if we lose to the Bears because we've seen what they're capable of doing when they get going, when they get, get that momentum on their side with DJ Moore who had 230 receiving yards last week, by the way, three touchdowns. Uh, so we got to clean some things up, okay? Got clock management got to clean up, got to clean up that offensive line. We've talked about it at nauseum. It's the same old same old stuff that we talk about every single week that's wrong with the Vikings, and still none of it is going or is getting fixed, plain and simple. That's what it comes down to. I knew this was going to be a tough ball game coming into it, uh, but for us to fight and look resilient and have still enough time to to march down the field and give us a chance to win the ball game was 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 really good to see. So um, just got to keep moving forward. One and four. Hopefully we can go to two and four on the season next week, beating the Bears. But only time will tell. Uh, will tell. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this game. Give me your two cents of what we need to do uh, better, what we need to fix, and stuff like that. Obviously the turnovers are going to be. Uh, at the forefront of, of everyone's minds to, to, to kind of clean up there. But let me know your thoughts in the comments about this game. Also drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your night, folks. And Skull Vikes.